Okay, lastly, we'll modify the top. First thing I'll do is double click on the top to enable editing the individual components. And because we're going to create a routed surface around the entire surface of the top, I need to basically cut the top in half and do half of it and flip it. I'll explain it more later. Uh, first thing that we want to do, since the top is 13 inches long, I want to reduce that by 6.5 inches. Let's scroll in on this a little bit. We're going to put a quarter, uh, one inch radius on each corner. So I want to take and measure one inch back. Scroll over here, select the arc tool, click on the intersection of the guideline and the edge of the part, and we're going to move our pointer to the other edge and slide along that edge. The inferencing will turn the color uh, cyan or uh, magenta, excuse me, and snap when it gets to 45. I can now click to lock that. Now, if I slide along the edge it creates the radius and when it gets tangent to the edges it'll turn cyan again and then I can click on that again excuse me magenta can now move over here and do the same thing we'll take our arc tool click here slide along the edge it locked at 45 I click and I drag along here when I get to tangent it turns magenta again I click now we're going to scale out I'm going to take the push-pull tool and push those corners out and we now have a radius on the edge. The next thing I want to do is measure what we're going to create for the routing, the quarter inch routing uh, around the edge of the parts. So I want to take and measure one fourth of an inch in from the edge, take my arc tool, I'm going to click there, come over to this point drag down until it turns magenta. It's at a 45 degree angle. I click, I drag up, and when it turns magenta again, it's tangent, I click. That is the shape that we want to route around those three sides. What I want to do now is take the surface, or the select tool. I'm going to click the path that I want to run that routing around. I click the one edge, I hold my shift key down, if you'll notice there's a plus or minus next to the cursor, which means I can add to the selection. I'm going to click this arc, click the line here, click this line, and click this line. I now have the path that I want that uh, arc to be wrapped around. We're going to zoom in on that again. I'm going to click on the follow me tool, and then click on that surface. If we zoom back out now, we notice it has followed that path around the entire uh, path that we selected. 